morning. <sighs> well, back from Idaho. The only downside to going out and doing my dance is that I don't usually sleep super well when I'm away from home. Um, usually I give myself at least eight hours, often nine, sometimes ten. And when I'm out on the road, I can usually not even get to eight. Um, and after a few days of running on five or six hours of sleep, my PTSD kicks in. Um, I mean, it's not a, uh, I mean, it's just a body nuisance, right? It's, it went from being this overwhelming flood of feeling anxiety, uh, sometimes despair, uh, all of that. But it, it's, you know, over the years, um, when, once I got a, once I found the handle, there's a fulcrum, there is a control switch inside of us. Um, and once we figure that out, and nobody can figure it out for you, even if the best therapist can only point you toward a moon. Um, but anyway, these days it's super simple. My body just gets tense and I feel that tension as a pressure. Usually it shows up in my jaw in my teeth where I want to grind, you know, not grind them, but clench them. And, um, and then the only answer to that is to just rest and un unfold and sleep. So, so I'm off today. I took today off. Um, to just kind of, because I got the kids coming, and then next weekend we're heading up north on Friday, and traveling with my daughters is also not uh, stress free, but but it's not you know it's not the same as being off at a workshop where you're working, and then of course this was a great trip. Uh, all of the all the indicators are that I'll be going back. Um, and possibly even be back next year for the event. I'm, I'm committed to going, and if everything works out, I'll be out there next year for it. But between now and then, I've got some other things cooking. I'm going to be bringing my Making Friends with the Monsters Underneath Your Bed uh, event to Twin Falls, which I think will be great. And it, we have lots of time to put it together. So uh, I'm going to get that going. And, um, of course, right now I'm moving into the tail end of the year. So it's you know not, not a lot of new stuff, a lot of gathering this is the time of year where I gather up all my records for the year, get my taxes prepped. I have other things coming together. I have a little collection that should be out soon. Uh, I had to check in with my book builder on that one. And then I have another book builder uh, working on my fourth Fairwood Press collection. And then I have uh, I've just started talks with another small press publisher about bringing my poetry into the world, which has never been published. So, so that could be an interesting uh experience. So lots of things, lots of really great things happening, but today is going to be a great, a day of just great nothing and rest. Um, but I wanted to pop on here because if you're up in the Seattle area and you want to see me and the girls, um, shoot me a note and I'll put you on the, in the event list for Saturday. It's not a public event. Um, I've, I'm keeping it a pretty curated list, but I'm very open to anybody that wants to see me. I just am not wanting to open it full wide. So holler seriously holler and if you're local to Oregon and you're wishing you had some can holler there too I have a new song it comes out of my uh, Southern Baptist suitcase it has a title Bible Belt Blues, a psalm for justice. Written for every person in the Bible Belt that just doesn't fit. Especially the ones that are being chased out, oppressed, stood upon. down from the pulpit in the first place back in 1990s, 1994, 94. The people I was working with looked nothing like the founder of the supposed feast. So any 
20 some years later I've written this song we'll see how it goes I know we're going somewhere but good lord I don't I go on somewhere Good Lord I don't know where There's darkness all around me But I smell justice on the air The preacher man he's preaching The second coming of the Lord second coming of the Lord but I don't think he comprehends the cutting of that terrible swift sword for the first time, Bible Belt Blues, a psalm for justice, inspired by many things, but my journey especially. Um, and the last most recent thing is the big brawl in Alabama, where we're starting to see the white supremacists who run around touting their, their version of something that isn't really anything to do with Jesus, uh, getting beat down. And pretty soon, it's not just going to be large numbers of, of the disenfranchised doing it. You're going to find every group of people pretty much ready to beat down fascists and white supremacists. And agnostic atheist can praise it to be so. I, uh, I think enough is enough. It's time to stand up and take back um, the teachings of Jesus for something better. So it's ridiculous that... That, talk about using somebody's name vainly. Oh, my Lord. But anyway, that's the new song. Don't know when or where. I think it's going to end up on Songs of Life and Love. Um, pretty pleased with it. Uh, and now I'm going to go get some rest. I had such a great trip. A wonderful trip. Saw lots of people. My tribe is increasing. I uh, got to pass along a little bit of what I learned along the way. I've created some places out there where I can do more stuff, get out there and visit my family, uh, my friends. So I think Twin Falls is going to be my, you know, like if I had a sister city, Twin Falls is my sister city, it seems. So anyway, I'm uh, out of here. You all have a great day. <laughs>